Hello, Lisa here. Welcome back to my channel. So this is the next video in my journaling setup planner systems uh, mini series here on the channel. So as promised last week, this week is going to be all about um, finishing the setup for my everyday carry kind of stuff. There's a few little things I need to do and a bunch of things I need to do in my big one. So I'm going to just speed this up and set it to music, but hopefully you enjoy and then I'll do a little tour at the end and talk through, like do a quick final flip through of how this all came out. So here we go. Okay, so quick update. I just realized that um, my new prints of these photos aren't really that much bigger than the old ones. So I'm just going to keep the old ones in here. Um, I need to figure out my sizing issue because I feel like they're still, they're wider, but they're still too short. And I don't know what I'm doing wrong, but I haven't figured it out yet. I've been trying to use the same measurements that um, this insert is supposed to be, but it's just not for some reason working out. I don't know why. Um, but for now, I'm just going to stick with these smaller photos um, and I'll just set these other ones aside as backup to use in another project. But yeah, so I'm just going to keep this the way it is. So my little nano um, wallet is not going to change. So this is exactly like it was <laughs> during my last video. No updates. Um, so that's that's done. So nothing else to do there. All right, I'm going to come go on to other things now.
Okay, <laughs> so I have been filming for a very long time and I am finally at a place where I can show you my my finished, <laughs> my finished setups for everything. So um, I actually went to resize those photos and cut them out and they weren't, I don't know if I already talked about this, but they weren't um, any bigger in my little nano. So I just kept the photos that are in there. So I didn't really do anything new to this. So my little mini wallet is ready to go. Uh, in my big wallet, I think the only thing I did in here um, was I inked up my pen um, with a really beautiful black swan in Australian roses ink, which I really like. I think I did a pen test uh, in the back. Yeah, so I did a pen test here and um, I really, really like this ink. It's like a kind of a, it's like the same color as my Huckleberry actually. It's pretty much the same color which almost makes me regret not inking up my other pen with um, this color, actually, but that's okay. Uh, I will eventually use up the ink and then I will just change it out. So this is ready to go. Again, this is going to be just my little book for any notes I need to make, a place to keep track of appointments. Um, this is, I'm probably going to also transfer um, birthdays into this in case I end up referring to this more than the main monthly calendar in my large everyday carry but that's ready to go. And then I moved over this charm um, that Dom Michelle had made me that was living on my everyday carry last year. I just moved it over to this journal. I just think it's really cute and I like having little charms like this on, on these notebooks. Um, this one originally had a little tassel and the tassel came off, um, but I still really like it. And if you look really closely in this little glass um, ball, there's like a little unicorn that is very faded because this has seen a lot of sun now, but I really, I really enjoy that. So anyways, let's do a little tour of my Huckleberry creme. This took so long. I, I was stunned how much time I had to spend um, getting it all set up. But I think a lot of people, they plan as they go, like they decorate their planners as they go. And I knew that if I tried to do that, um, it would never be decorated because I would probably do it for the first month or two and then peter out. So I wanted the whole thing to have um, a certain amount of decoration. So didn't do anything new in the front, um, but I added this Brady Tarot sticker to the front of my YouTube planner. And then of course I stuck my trackers in here. I added a little bit of washi tape. Um, learned that the washi tape doesn't like to come off this matte sticker paper. Um, I will, by the way, have a link, links down below to like the sticker paper that I used, like everything that I can think of that I used. I will try to have links down below for you so you can check those things out. Um, I just wrote 2021 subscriber count here. So this is ready to go and be used. And then I started to set up my planner because I actually had several months of like future planning for videos in my old system that I needed to transfer over. And I'm kind of doing some rearranging and scheduling and planning to plan for a series that I hope to start around April time. So I needed to make sure that I had all the notes about that and had an idea of what I was gonna be doing. This looks probably incredibly anal, but doing this scheduling for my YouTube channels helps me to stay on track. Um, I used these two, these are like not Tombows, but these are the um, Michaels brand, the Artist Loft watercolor dual tip markers. So I used the gray and the pink to differentiate between my two channels. And then I used the red to note when I was planning to do live streams. And then I do other live streams like spontaneously on both channels, but this is like scheduled stuff. Um, so this uh, bookmarker thingy is probably just going to live in my YouTube planner so I can just flip right to wherever I'm at on that because I use this thing all the time. Um, and I realized actually that it also makes a great backing board. What do you call those? Pencil boards. Um, so that's just, it's not like exactly sized right, but that's, it's still nice to have it behind there to write on. I went ahead and set up my... Um, January favorites. This um, friction pen is kind of like a gel pen in a way, so it does um, transfer a little if it's not fully dry, but it erases, so I don't really care. Um, so I set up my January favorites and my to-do list for videos I know I need to film or would like to film before February or at least for February. So I have that list started with all the due dates for those videos. And then I went ahead and continued planning through February. Um, I, did, I set up my favorites for February. I didn't keep setting up favorites, I don't think, because I, I realized how long it was going to take, but I'll set those up as I need them. Um, but yeah, I kept going through April 
and through May with some additional dates for the series that I'm planning. And then I think I stopped there. Yeah, I did. So I'll set up the rest as I go. Um, I tried to do some like fake lettering with these brush markers, but I have no idea what I'm doing. So it, it's a little clunky, but it worked. I don't care. Um, and at least I've got the dates in there for the first quarter of the year. So that is done. So I had a little mishap with my pen loop. Um, this these friction pens just do not like to go into these elastic loops because this rubber grip part just catches, which is really annoying. Um, so I ended up messing up my other pen loop, which was stuck to the inside of this, um, of my magic of eye and it tore some of the end papers. So I was like, well, I've got to put a new pen loop in cause I still need this pen to live in here. I put a new one in and now I'm just clipping the little plastic clip through the elastic rather than trying to um, put it through the loop, which I think that's going to work fine because the strap goes all the way around the whole thing so that's there um the back of my dashboard i went ahead and put this moon sticker this is from the this came with the bad girl tarot i put that on the cover of my um kind of catch-all planner insert for 2021 and then i went ahead and put in my refine um word of the year cover page here added a little bit of washi this is just a cute little like ephemera kind of thing I wanted to add. It's just the Three Fat Readers sticker. I have one that I got two from Danny. One I stuck on last year's YouTube planner um, or the previous year's. I can't remember now. <laughs> and then I have a really nice note that I got from Dustin in one of the packages he sent me and the note I got from Danny. And so it's just a cute little thing for the three of us that I put in there. And then I created my index. I pasted in my trackers. I put stickers here for my deck wish list. I haven't put anything in here yet because I'm still planning for my, like at the time I'm filming this, it's still the end of December and I'm still kind of planning a few things. So I don't know when I'm going to actually start adding on here and I will add to this and cross off as I get things in throughout the year. Then I have my deep dives thing. I am planning to work with the Ellis deck in January. That's partly because of a subscriber request. And then in February, I'm hoping to work with the Mythic Tarot. Um, I have, and I had a little, I wanted to put a little note in here to remind myself that I have in my Kindle, um, the Mythic Tarot guidebook. So I want to, or excuse me, the Mythic Tarot workbook. So I have the guidebook, I have the deck, and then I also have the Mythic Tarot workbook. And I want to maybe work with that in February. Um, I'm also thinking of actually reading this Percy Jackson series. This is my TBR list for fiction. Um, I have the Percy Jackson series, which is kind of loosely based on Greek myth, I believe. So I might read those at the same time I'm working with the mythic tarot. I think that'd be really fun, but that's just a side note. So then I created my TBR list and I quickly realized that I was going to fill up this entire page with just fiction. So I made it to say TBR fiction. It also says fiction here because I thought I was going to have two lists, but I didn't have space. So as you can see, I have a lot of books. Um, the ones that have the little dots by them are books that are on my Kindle that are waiting to be read. And then everything else here is physical books. So... Um, my method, as I mentioned in my TBR video, if you haven't seen it yet, it's coming. Um, but one of the things I talk about in there is that I, with physical books, I get them if they are cheaper than Kindle. Um, and then for fiction, because I typically prefer fiction on Kindle just from the space perspective, because I only have, I have limited space, right? And I have tarot books and things too. But if they're cheaper than Kindle, I will buy them in physical because I love the experience. And then if I don't think I'm going to reread the book, I will pass it on. Because if I want it later, I can always get a digital. So that's kind of my thinking. Um, but then I have a bunch on, on digital as well. And then after my fiction TBR, there is my bookshelf spread here that I'm going to use to keep track of the books I actually read. And then on this page is my TBR nonfiction. Same thing. I have a few Kindle books. Most of my nonfiction I tend to get in physical books. So I have less on Kindle there, but I do have a few, including um, The Chicken Kabbalah, Badass Ancestors, Fuck It, The Ultimate, Ultimate Spiritual Way, which I'm excited to see what that's about. can't remember why I picked that up, but I, I must have got it for cheap or something. Um, and then my nonfiction books, which I've already talked about. And then I've got pages to do with as I please. Finally, that brings us to my Magic of Eye. This thing is such a beast and I'm concerned it's going to get very chunky throughout the year as I add my daily tarot draws to the weekly pages and all that kind of thing, but I'm okay with it. Um, if this thing gets a little unwieldy, I can always take out um, any of these other inserts maybe and like carry them separately. I don't know. We'll see. I can always like whip out a different A5 and I don't know. I'll, I'll sort it out. <laughs> so I'm not sure how I'm going to feel about having a full year's planner in... Um, carried with me all year long, but I, 
I really kind of like having everything in one place for archiving purposes too, so we'll see, we'll see. So inside, this is where I actually damaged the end papers pulling out my pen loop, so I just added a sticker and some washi. I decided to go ahead and just glue in this freedom card that I talked about before and some other pieces of washi to make it look more intentional. And then I added this um, sticker that says, be true to you right underneath where it says the magic of I. And then I haven't filled this out yet with my sun. Let's do that now. My sun, moon and rising. Let's do it with this pen. Uh, I don't think I've done a pen test in this book. I just realized maybe I did. Um, so I am a cancer sun a Gemini moon and a Libra rising uh, and I'm also Gemini uh, I'll deal with that later <laughs> there's a conjunction in my Gemini moon that I want to remember and keep track of but um so there is that I'm just gonna throw something here because I don't know how long the ink is gonna take to dry on this page so then I went ahead and tabbed the pages I wanted to tab. So I wanted to tab the Optimum Times, the Astrological Reference Guide, and the um, Moons and Retrogrades. I used these, um, I will link to these tabs, but they were metallic and I liked how they would match with the planner. So I used these for everything. And then I went ahead and tabbed every single month. Um, I haven't filled out the intro stuff yet because frankly, I just, I've been, I filmed like multiple hours of footage and I'm like, I, as it is, I'm going to put it on speed up and it's a lot already. So I, I didn't do all of that. I'll do that off camera. I wasn't sure if I was going to do it on camera anyway, so that's fine. Um, I added some stickers throughout the journal, as you will see. Um, in my planner or in my habit tracker, I decided I'm just going to track for having read for pleasure every day, like just reading, because that's a huge goal of mine through 2021. Um, if I decide I want to add any other habits, I can, but for now I'm just going to track my reading, which means I can get three months out of each one of these habit trackers. So I just filled it in for January. Um, I may ch change and want to track something different in February. I had bought a sticker kit um, off of Amazon that had stickers for every month of the year, so I put those throughout the journal. I also added um, holidays and birthdays that I had stickers for um, and just kind of decorated throughout. So that's kind of what that looks like. I did that for every month and I'm really pleased with how it all turned out. So um, I don't think this, these two, these month on two page spreads are going to be useful for honestly for a lot besides keeping track of like vacation days, big appointments, um, holidays and birthdays. So that's what I'm doing on those pages. I love how the Halloween page came out. Um, and they're like not fancy stickers. When I was done with the sticker kit, however, I did go back through with some of these Happy Planner Stargazer stickers, added some of these. I also added some other stickers that were sent to me by Dom Michelle um, throughout. So that's what I did there. And I decided I'm just going to use this Good Habits um, as a bit of a bookmark. There are two bookmarks in here. Um, so I've got one currently in the current week, um, or that's the plan. So this is actually my current week that I'm filming this. Uh, and then the other bookmark currently is going to be in the weekly goals, actionable steps. You know what? I think I'm going to change this. I'm going to put the habits in the goals sections so that I'll look at it more and I'll put the gold bookmark in the, the month on two pages spread because I'm going to be into this section a ton. This is going to be where I track like what videos I want to film throughout the like like my, my actual to do's that I have um, throughout each month. So like I want to be able to refer quickly back to this. So that's probably going to live there. And then I'll have my other bookmark in whatever the current week is. Yeah, I think that's going to work. So that's how I'm going to set that up. And that is that. Wow, that was a lot. So thank you so much for hanging out with me. Um, I'm, I was excited to kind of bring you along while I set all of this up. I've still got a little bit more work to do to completely finish prepping it for 2021, but it's set up the way that I want. It is heavy, um, but again, I'm not too concerned about that. It's not that much heavier than what I was carrying before, um, but I, the wider size is going to give me a lot more room to write. So we will see how this works out. I'm going to start my tarot journaling in it today, um, and hopefully the pages won't get crazy thick but if they do I can always um figure it out <laughs> I guess I could take out some of these other inserts and just carry them separately or something I don't know we'll see um I guess worst case the magic of I might have to come out and just be a standalone but I think it's going to be okay so this is how it looks with my pen pens in here oh I filled my um Twisby Eco with the Noodler's X Feather ink which is just 
a, a basic black. Um, so I'm gonna try that for a bit. The pens do smush into the tabs in my in my um, planner a little bit, but I'm not overly concerned about that. So I'm just gonna leave it. It will be what it's going to be, and it won't look this pristine in a while, anyways. So I'm just gonna let it be. It's do its thing, and um, yeah, I'm really pleased with how it turned out. I really do like having these monthly tabs because it's really easy to flip between different months, which is great for future planning and things like that. So I like how that came out, but that is that. Thank you so, so much. Please do like this video if you enjoyed watching me go through everything. Um, subscribe if you're new here. Click the little bell to be notified of my future videos and my spontaneous live streams. And if you want to book a one-on-one -on -one tarot reading with me, you can always do that over at supportivetarot.com. Thank you so, so much, and may your magic always shine from the inside out. Bye, guys.